Hey guys, what's going on? It's Raven. Today I'm going to be giving you guys a elite weapon showcase for the KF5 Breakneck. This weapon is insanely good. So the KF5, before the recent buff that it got, was probably one of the top tier weapons in the game. And they buffed the medium range, so from a distance you're going to be melting people, pretty much. I'll understand why they buffed it, because I thought it was already one of the best guns in the game but hey I will take that because they gave me this KFI breakneck which it's amazing it's just absolutely amazing <laughs> it's probably one of it's probably the top five weapons in the game I'd say and you know first I'd say probably the obsidian steed then the speakeasy insanity um what else? What else? What else? Well, that's top three for sure. Then the R.E.P. and then probably this breakneck. But yeah, this thing absolutely melts. Um, it has plus three fire rate, and it shoots faster than the Speakeasy. If you guys have ever used the Speakeasy, oh my goodness, it's faster. <laughs> yeah, this thing is insanely fast fire rate. Now the downside is well, you get a couple downsides. So first of all, you have uh, minus one accuracy, which means yeah. Uh, why can't I say it? Ten percent more recoil. Yeah, there we go. I was trying to think of recoil, but for some reason I was trying to say a different word, but it wasn't even close to it. <laughs> And uh, the second downfall is, well, you shoot fast and you put down a lot of bullets really fast and you can't have extended mags. So me, if I were to use the regular KF5, I'd use extended mags, foregrip, advanced rifling. That's just what I would do because it shoots pretty fast. And unfortunately, you can't have extended mags on this weapon. And as you can see here, I just ran out of bullets so fast, so... You definitely need to run scavenger. I would recommend blast suppressor and scavenger on your class setup because you're going to be up in their face most likely with this weapon. So, you know, weapon flinch, it's not going to be that bad, so you don't really need toughness. I typically don't run toughness on some machine guns and assault rifles. Now, for light machine guns, I'll run toughness. Snipers, I'll run toughness. Stuff like that, I will. However, other stuff now and uh... we're kinda closing up on this gameplay i do get the dna bomb here soon um... it took a little bit to get because i was running score streaks in this game that's a pretty good score streak setup right there uav threat detection extend time speed aerial assault drone ai control and rockets and then for the warbird i just use aggressor Wow, look at that warbird just wiped them out clean right there. So we're about to get the uh, DNA bomb here soon. I think it's coming up along with this two piece down here. But yeah, this, oh, three piece. But yeah, this KF5, it just melts. There's a DNA bomb right there. Also, sorry for not uploading lately. It's been about three weeks. However, with schoolwork and all that stuff, this third trimester for me at school. My classes are difficult. Let me just say that I have a lot of homework. And uh, also, the next gameplay that I upload, I'll probably do a double upload today. It's going to be using the Obsidian Steed. And uh, that's the end of the gameplay right there. I believe we go 77 and 6 or something like that. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't yet because like I said, I will be uploading again today. Comment down below if you guys have the KF5 breakneck and what you guys think of it. I think it's probably the best variant of the KF5 in my opinion. I just love the fire rate. So there's the ending score. We ended up going, going a 46 streak here. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Peace. Have a good day.